have already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Capricorn, recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this high priestess and it's with the devil. Now the high priestess can mean that you would have been in a phase where you were much more physically attractive to others or to your person. The High Priestess is actually tied to the moon. It's tied to femininity and also inspiration. So this would be, or it would have been a time for you to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. So it's also important that um, you should have paid attention to any dreams that you had at that time. And if you kept a dream diary or a journal, it would have been a really, really good idea. Now, let's look at the devil card. When you get the devil card, you have to remember that no matter what your situation is, that you always have options to choose from. First things first. Don't let other people tell you that your options are limited if you come to that conclusion. You want to be sure that you're coming to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you could free yourself or you can free yourself from whatever rest restrictions you feel are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You may have the feeling that you're not in control of your life. Sometimes this will happen as a result of your own actions. But more often, it's a byproduct of inaction. So take action, whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if it's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. And I say this because small baby steps, they're important too. Now, what this is telling me, Capricorn, for this recent past energy between you and your person, is that, um, yeah, you were with someone who was very drawn to you. They were very, very attracted to you. Yeah. Now, because it's clarified by the devil, this person, they could have had some type of addictions. Or maybe they were obsessed with you. Because the devil card can be about addictions. It can be about toxic behaviors. It can be about um, devil energy. It can be greed, envy, materialism. Jealousy, obsession, sexual lust. And of course, we know addictions can also be drug abuse, alcohol abuse. Yeah. But because this person was so attracted to you, I'm getting for a lot of you, Capricorn, so you were probably obsessed. Maybe they could have been obsessed with getting you back if you two were separated. Or... They just could have just been so drawn to you that they just was maybe always um, just wanted to be near you or just some type of obsession about you. Um, and for some of you, your person did have some addictions. Yeah, some, some type of um, unhealthy energy, um, maybe some toxic behavior, behaviors. But um, that's the recent past energy. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Also, I usually stop here just to say that some people say it's hard. They're having a hard time hearing me. If you have some earbuds or um, headphones or earplugs or whatever they call those things, uh, yeah, feel free to use those.
Yeah, I'm, I don't have. The, I'm not using the best of, but the quality that I use to record these videos are not, not in great shape right now. But I'm working on some changes. So if you got some earplugs, some earbuds or headphones, please use them because you could hear me a lot better. Because a lot of people say they can't hear me. So some people say they can hear me. Some a lot of people say they can't. So I don't know. But anyway, I'm working on some changes. But coming up, Capricorn, Ace of Wands, um, it's uh, with the Seven of Wands for you and your person coming up. Now, this, this Ace of Wands is actually really good. It indicates some type of new beginning. Yeah, they're very positive new beginnings. They're, they could be in the area of... Um, accomplishments could be related to work career or family or romance and just know when you get the ace of wands if you are having a difficult time now just know that things are about to get better very soon yeah and I say like stress very soon because if you take a look at the ace of wands it looks like it's the card above the word present it looks like it's sitting above the clouds, but no, it's actually burst above the clouds, really powerful and fast, like bam. So things could turn around for the better very soon if you're having a difficult time now. This card, it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, very hopeful about the future with a good cause. So you're likely to be feeling quite energetic and very positive, or you will be feeling that way soon. The Ace also tells you that now is a, a good time to start something new. Now, it's with the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands, you could find yourself in some type of competitive situation. But just know that, um, that you'll come out on top. Yeah, so things should be going well. You should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, they should be moving right along. But you still may have some regular moments of self-doubt. But just know that it's actually the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people. And I say this because when you get the Seven of Wands, your thinking is actually clear. And you could actually help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card, it points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. Yeah, so coming up, Capricorn, Ace of Wands clarified by the Seven of Wands. So like I said, you're dealing with someone who's really um, drawn to you. They find you beautiful, handsome. They could be obsessed or they just got some type of um, toxic behaviors or you know that they've got some addictions. Yeah, it could be a number of things or just something that's that's um, unhealthy maybe. And um, it looks like you, you would be willing, you could be willing to give this a try. Yeah, because Ace of Wands is here. You could be thinking about it coming up. But you might want a fresh new start with this person. Or, or start a new beginning with them. And just know that this person, they do want to come out on top. They want to win this connection with you. That's what the Seven of Wands can be about. Wanting to win. They see themselves winning. So they're thinking positive about you and about this fresh new start. Yeah, so you got somebody that's that wants to be with you, Capricorn. Yeah, this could be someone new or someone you already know. Or it could be someone coming towards you. But for most of you, it's um, someone that you're already dealing with. Yeah, so let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Now, we got this Will of Fortune. 
and it's with the Two of Wands. When you get the Wheel of Fortune, it reminds us that this too shall pass because it's a wheel, and the wheel constantly turns. Yeah, the wheel is always in motion. Um, whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. So if suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like everything else, changes. Live in the now and count your blessings. Just realize that much of life is really outside of our control. But that's even okay. Roll with the changes and think positive. Now with all the two of wands, with this card, it's going to be important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can. Even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. The two of wands, it often indicates a partnership with another person. So this could be business, it could be personal, or maybe both. The two of wands, it reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. So if things are feeling out of balance for you now, just know that they're about to get substantially better. Keep your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. So your challenge, Capricorn, Will of Fortune, and it's clarified by the Two of Wands. Yeah, so what I'm getting here is that you could be feeling that, okay, you're willing to go for this new beginning with this with this person um, because they act like they want to win win you, and you feel that you feel that they they're really drawn to you. You can feel how much they're interested. Um, but the, the challenge is looking like you could have two options here. Two. Yeah, when the two of wands occur below the word challenge, you could be, maybe you're dealing with someone else, or you've got something else going on, and then you've got this person. So the two of wands is about trying to make a decision. Yeah, so now you're faced with the challenge of making a decision. You've got someone that wants to be with you, and then you got your hand tied to something else, or someone else. Two of Wands, trying to make a decision, maybe two options towards the future. Um, one of those options with the Will of Fortune showing up here makes you feel like um, you, you're going to have a lot of luck. Good luck with that option. Now, is it with this person or is it with the other option? But one of them, you feel like, well, no, I'm, I'm going to say you're going to have a, you feel like you're going to be really, really lucky. Because if you look at the two of wands, a card below the word challenge, this man, he has his hand tied to one wand, and his body is facing the other wand. His back is to the, to the wand that he has his hand tied to. He's looking right into the eyes of... The other one. Yeah, so you could have two options towards the future. One of them sparks your interest more. One of them you're really excited about. Um, the will is here, though. So you, maybe I can, I'm getting your person. They could be thinking, they, they probably know you have two options. It looks like they're hoping that you, you choose them. They're, they're hoping that they get lucky. Because the Wheel of Fortune can be about us. good luck. It can be about a turning point. It can be about fortune being in your favor. So your person could be um, um, hoping that they get lucky with you and that you'll choose them. You got somebody that re that's really feeling you. Yeah, and if it's not this recent past person, it's somebody coming up.
Yeah, they'll be really feeling you, really into you. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We've got the Three of Pentacles. Ends with the Five of Cups. Now, the Three of Pentacles is actually really positive, especially, especially when it comes to work, career questions. But it's actually a good overall card in the deck. It means that you're doing well. Three of Pentacles tells you that the people around you, they appreciate you, they appreciate your efforts, they notice the quality of work you do, even if you're not getting paid. Three of Pentacles tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're right on track. There could be some room for improvement, but you will not have to scrap something and then start again. No, nope, not as the Three of Pentacles here. Now, so the Five of Cups, which is a card that reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So, what are you going to choose to focus on? The implication is probably clear. Are you going to cry over spilled milk? Or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? The point is, though, what I'm trying to say is that when you get the Five of Cups, you have to watch where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. So, Capricorn, the outcome, Three of Pentacles, clarified by this Five of Cups. So, yeah, um, like I said, you've got two options towards the future. You're trying to make a decision. Yeah. Should you go with this one or should you go with that one? One of your options, they're hoping you choose them. Could be this person that's obsessed with you. Or it could be someone new coming towards you. Could be the same person that's, you know, got addictions or some type of um, toxic behavior. Or somebody new. Or someone else. But for most of you, it's the same person from the recent past energy we just talked about with the devil card here. Uh, they're hoping that you choose them. Yeah. They're hoping that you get on board with them. Yeah. Now the outcome, because the Three of Pentacles is here, you could be needing this person to prove something to you. Yeah, you could be asking them to... Show me what you got. I mean, cause, cause, because I'm getting that it's this person with the devil energy here, you might be wanting to find out, do they still have this type of um, bad behaviors or toxic energy? Are they still going to bring this to the connection? You could be asking them to show show you impress you with something because if you look at the three of pentacles the card that's above the word outcome these two people they are sitting at this man's feet and they're looking up at what he's doing and he's um, showing them what he's doing he could be trying to impress them and they're like wow you did that so you that's what you want you want something you want your person to woo you yeah, give you a reason to um, jump right on back in there. Yeah. You could be asking them in subtle ways or just point blank. What do you bring to the table other than you being so obsessed with me? Yeah. But it's with the Five of Cups. It, it looks like because the Five of Cups is here, you may not be impressed with, with, with what they tell you or what they're going to say, what they're saying or, or whatever they feel like they can bring to the table. Or you're just not impressed with this person like they are with you. And you're reaching out to them, trying to get some clarity on 
what what type of benefits they can bring to the table. Five of Cups is about disappointment. So, yeah. For most of you, this person is not, yeah, they're not bringing, bringing enough to the table for you to um, jump right back on in there if this is someone that you, you've been dealing with that wants a new beginning with you. Yeah, Five of Cups is, is not good. It's disappointment. So whatever they tell you they can bring to the table, you're not looking up like those two people are. You're probably um, hanging up the phone. Whatever they're telling you, you're not impressed. So actually, you're disappointed. Because it looks like you could have wanted to give it a shot. Give this person a, a chance to be in your good graces since they're so drawn to you. So Capricorn, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Capricorn, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Let's all thank God that things are not worse than they could be. Stay strong. Take good care. Please come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Yeah, also keep in mind, Capricorns, um, the roles of the people can be switched. Meaning, um, you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person or people could be friends, family member, co-worker, or situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because, once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So, Capricorns, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care. Bye-bye.